Meantime, Boyd's court appearance also uncovered the potential roles two current Vanderbilt players may have had in this case, including the team's starting quarterback. Fox 17's Eric Alvarez live at Vanderbilt University tonight with more on why instead of facing charges, they're getting ready to hit the field. Eric? That's right, Stacy. Right now, the Vanderbilt football team is in Columbia, South Carolina. Among them are starting quarterback Austin Carta Samuels and tight end Dylan Vanderwall. Earlier today, courtroom revelations suggested both players came face to face with the alleged rape victim and says they opted to help her alleged attackers. No, she doesn't know anything that happened, but she passed out in Vandenberg's bed. Chris Boyd watches on as Deputy District Attorney General Tom Thurman reads text messages to and from his phone aloud in a Nashville courtroom. The exchange documents an unsettling series of events involving allegations of drug use and the rape of an unconscious female student on June 23rd. On Friday, those text messages also implicated two other Vanderbilt players, including the team's starting quarterback. Both players were already on the witness list, but are now believed to have played a direct role in the case. Me, Carter, and Vanderwall and Vanderburg helped us move her out the hallway. But if Austin Carter Samuels and Dylan Vanderwall were there, why weren't they charged like Chris Boyd with being an accessory after the fact? Unnamed sources close to the case tell Fox 17 it's because Boyd lied to the police and say that's the main difference between Boyd's involvement and the possible involvement of Carter Samuels and Vanderwall. One source says another possible reason is that Boyd may have had reason to know a crime had taken place and chose to help anyway. Stephen Boyd, the father of the star receiver and Eagle Scout from Roswell, Georgia, told Fox 17, quote, it all hit me like a ton of bricks. What is the conditional plea to this criminal attempt of guilty. the accessory after the fact? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Now, a university spokesperson says Boyd's suspension from the football team still stands. However, Carter Samuels and Vanderwall are eligible to take the field. The Vanderbilt Commodores are set to take on the South Carolina Gamecocks tomorrow night. Reporting live at Vanderbilt University, Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.